ओम शांति दिस इज साकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी थर्ड जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन जस्ट एज बाबा इज ए माउंटेन ऑफ स्वीटनेस सो यू चिल्ड्रन हैव टू रिमेंबर द स्वीट फादर एंड द इनहेरिटेंस एंड ऑल्सो बिकम मोस्ट स्वीट क्वेश्चन विथ विच मेथड डू यू मेक यूर सेल्फ सेफ एंड मेक एवरीथिंग यू हैव सेफ टू आंसर You say, Baba, I give you everything I have, including including this body worth straws, and I will te- take everything from you in the future golden age. So this is as through as though you have become safe. You put everything in Baba's safe. This is Shiv Baba's safety bank. You stay in Baba's safe and become immortal. You also gain victory over death. You belong to Shiv Baba, and so you become safe. However, you do have to make effort to climb a high status. Om Shanti. The father asks you, children, do you do you see your most elevated auspicious faces of the future? Do you see your most elevated auspicious customs? Do you understand that? in the future you will go to the dynasty of the new golden age, golden age world of lakshmi and narayan that is you will go to the land of happiness and you will become the most elevated beings when you students study it remains in their intellects that they will become such and such you to know that you will go into the dynasty of vishnu the dual form of vishnu is lakshmi and narayan your intellects are now alokic this these things do not turn around in the intellect of anyone else here you know that you are sitting in the company of the true father shiv baba the highest on high father is teaching you he is most sweetest you have to remember that sweetest father with a lot of love because the father says children it is only by remembering me that you will become the most elevated beings and by imbibing the jewels of knowledge you will become multi millionaires for your future 21 births it is as though the father is giving you these blessings the sweetest brides and sweetest worthy children receive these blessings the father is pleased to see the sweetest children you children know that you are all playing your own parts in this play the unlimited father is also playing his part of being personally in front of you in this unlimited drama you sweet children of the sweet father are personally able to see the sweetest father soul see one another with the organs of their bodies so you are the sweet children the father knows that he has be come to make you children very sweet this lakshmi and narayan are most sweet their kingdom is also sweet in fact even their subjects are sweet when you go to the temples you find the idols to be so sweet you find them so sweet you feel as soon as the temple opens you will have a glimpse of the sweet deities those who have a glimpse of them understand that they were the masters of the sweet heaven so many people go to the shiva temple because he is the sweetest of all people praise that sweetest shiv baba a great deal you children to have to become most sweet the most sweetest father is personally sitting in front of you children he is incognito no one else can be as sweet as he is it is as to the father is a mountain of sweetness only the sweet father comes into this bitter world and makes it sweet you children know that the sweetest baba is making you the most sweet of all he is making us exactly like he is whatever someone is like he would make others the same as himself so in order to become such sweet beings you have to remember the sweet father and the sweet inheritance baba repeatedly tells you children children consider yourself to be 
body less and remember me and i promise that all your sorrow and suffering will be removed with this remembrance you will become every hell ever healthy and ever wealthy you will become most sweet when you souls become sweet you will also receive sweet bodies you children should have the intoxication that you are the children of the most beloved father therefore you have to follow baba shrimat the very sweetest baba is making us very sweet the most beloved father says jewel should always emerge from your lips no bitter stone should emerge from your lips the sweeter you become the more you will glorify the father's name when you children follow the father everyone else will follow you baba is all your teacher so the teacher would definitely give teachings to you children children every day keep your charts of remembrance just as businessman looks at their accounts every night so you businessmen do such big business with the father the more you remember the father the more limitless happiness you will receive from the father you will become satu pradhan check yourselves every day just as narad was told to look at his face in a mirror to see whether he was worthy of marrying lakshmi so you have to see whether you are worthy of becoming it like them otherwise check what defects you have because you children have to become perfect the father has come to make you perfect so you have to check yourself honestly to see what weaknesses you have due to which you can understand that you wouldn't be able to climb a high status the father continues to show you methods you can use to chase away those evil spirits the father sits here and looks at all of you souls when he is see when he sees the weakness of someone he gives them a correct current so that their obstacles are removed the more you help the father and continue to praise him the more the evil spirits will leave you and you will remain very happy therefore check yourself fully throughout the day did i cause any one sorrow through my thoughts words or deeds you have to be detached at observers and check your behavior you can also see the behavior of others but you first have to look at yourself when you look at others you forget to look at yourself each one of you has the severe to serve yourself to serve others means to serve yourself you do not do shiv baba's service shiv baba himself has come on service you brahmin children are very valuable and are sitting in the safety of shiv baba's bank you become immortal by being in baba's safe you are gaining victory over death now that you belong to shiv baba you have become safe however you have to make effort to climb a high status no matter how much wealth and prosperity people in the world have all of that will be destroyed none of it will remain you children now have nothing you don't even have those bodies of yours you also have to give those to the father it is as though those who don't have anything have in everything you made a deal with the unlimited father for the future new world you say baba i am giving you everything i have including this body worth straws and i will take everything from you there so it is as though you have become safe it is as though everything is safe in baba safe you children should have so much happiness inside you have you because there is now very little time left and you will then go to the us own kingdom if anyone asks you tell them wow we are claiming our inheritance of unlimited happiness from the unlimited father we are becoming ever healthy and ever wealthy all our desires are being fulfilled the father says sweet children now become soul conscious when you explain with the power of yoga even a little of little to someone an aru will come and soon strike him those who are shot by an arrow become completely unconscious first of all they become unconscious and they belong to baba they remember the father with a lot of love and so the father also feels that pull
Some don't remember him at all. Baba feels mercy. Nevertheless, he would say, Children, make, may you progress. Climb a number out there at the front. The higher the status you climb, the closer you will come and you will receive limitless happiness. Only the one father is the purifier. Therefore, you have to remember the one father. Not just the one father, but together with him, you also have to remember the sweet home. Not just the sweet home, but you also want to all the treasures and property and so you have to remember the sweet land of heaven. You definitely have to become pure. You children have to remain introverted uh, as much as possible. Don't speak too much. Stay in silence. The father gives you children the teachings. Sweet children, don't spread the peacelessness. While living at home with your families, stay in lot of peace, stay introverted, speak very sweetly, don't cause sorrow for anyone, don't become angry. If there is an evil spirit of anger, you don't be able to stay in remembrance. The father is so sweet and so he, he also explains to you children, don't let your intellects stumble, don't become extroverted, be introverted. The father is so lovely and pure. He is also making you children as pure as he is. The more you remember the father, the lovelier you will become. The deities were so lovely that even now people continue to worship the non-living non images. So the father says, children, you have to become as lovely once again. You must not remember any bodily beings or any objects at the end remember the father will so much love that while sitting in remembrance tears of love continue to fall baba oh sweet baba i have received everything from you baba you are making me so lovely souls become lovely just as the father is extremely lovely and pure so you too have to become just as pure remember the father with a lot of love Baba, no one but you should come in front of me. No one is as lovely as the father. Each one of you becomes a lover of that beloved. So you have to remember that beloved a great deal. Baba has told you that that physical lover and beloved don't stay together. They see one another once. And that's it. The father says, sweet children, constantly remember me alone and your boat can go across. We have so much love for the sweet father through whom we become like diamonds. Remember the father with a lot of love. You should have goose pimples. Remove whatever defects you have and become pure diamonds. If there is the slightest flaw, your value will be reduced. You have to make yourself into a valuable diamonds. Remember of the remembrance of the father should harass you. Uh, you should not forget him, but remembrance should in fact also harass you. Uh, when you say Baba, Baba, you should feel that coolness inside you. You will receive such a huge inheritance from the father. You children are now establishing your deity kingdom. Everyone is making effort. Those who make greater effort receive a greater reward. This is the law. Establishment is taking place whether you call it a deity kingdom or a garden. Flowers in a garden are number wise. Some gardens give very good fruit whereas others give less fruit. It is the same time. It is the same here. You are becoming as sweet and fragrant as, as you were in the precious cycle. Number wise, according to the efforts you make, there are varieties of flowers. You children have the faith that you are becoming the masters of heaven through the unlimited father. There is a lot of happiness experienced in becoming the masters of heaven. So the father sits here and looks at you children. The master's vision is on the home. He sees what virtues and what defects each of you has. You children also know this. That is why Baba says you should write down your weaknesses yourself. No one has as it become perfect but yes you do have to become that you have become 
that our every cycle the father explains the main weakness is body consciousness body consciousness troubles you a lot it doesn't allow you the stage to move forward you also have to forget your bodies you have to shed the, those old bodies and return home you also have to imbibe divine virtues here before you go you have to go and so you mustn't have any flaws in you you are becoming diamonds you know what flaws you have there are flaws in those physical diamonds too but those flaws cannot be removed because they are non living those flaws have to be cut away you are living diamonds so you have to become remove whatever flaws you have completely and become flawless by the end if you don't remove the flaws your value will be reduced because you are living you can remove those flaws acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence of for dharana first point and remain introverted and peaceful as much as possible and don't speak too much don't spread peacelessness speak very sweetly don't cause anyone sorrow don't become angry don't become extroverted and thereby make your intellect stumble second point in order to become perfect check yourself honestly to see what weaknesses you have in you be a detached observer and check your behavior create methods with which to chase away any evil spirits blessing may you be a most auspicious and elevated soul and become victorious over any adverse situation from nature explanation brahmin souls are most auspicious and elevated souls and nature is the servant of auspicious and elevated souls nature cannot influence auspicious elevated souls so check does any upheaval of nature attract you does nature influence you with facilities and salvation facilities automatically come to yogi souls and to the souls who experiment and make spiritual endeavor the facilities are not the basis of their spiritual endeavor but it is their spiritual endeavor that makes the facilities their support slogan the meaning of knowledge is to experience it and make others experience it with avyakt silence experience the double light angelic stage constantly consider yourself to be a double light and continue to do service to the extent that you have lightness in the service you do the more easily you will fly and make others fly to be double light while doing service to stay in remembrance while doing service is the basis of success no matter how much noise or how much of a tamoguni atmosphere there may be use the power of silence and finish all waste by stabilizing in the stage of being the best with this elevated stage you will be able to experience rest all the time acha om shanti